<laughs> oh, they put Vaseline on first, actually. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another video and I'm excited. I'm so excited to talk about the beauty of flaws and imperfections. In my previous video, I mentioned I will be pulling up a discussion on Instagram about the beauty of flaws and imperfections. I asked three questions, one thing you love about yourself, one thing you don't love, and one thing that you would like to work on. And I got some responses. I'm not gonna say who responded, of course, but I'm gonna speak about the different responses. I'm also gonna talk about what's something that I've been through in the past and how I conquered it. So let's get into this video. As you can see, um, my face is bare, but um, while I'm talking, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial. I just wanna make a side note, I'm not a makeup artist at all. I'm not a makeup artist, but I am willing to show you guys what I do on the daily, my neutral makeup looks, because I did get some requests. I did get some questions about it. So first, um, I start off with, let's start off with what I use first and then I'll go into the subject. So I start off with my eyebrows and I use Annabelle from Walmart. In the color chocolate, I honestly feel like this color or like chocolate colors are look very natural on my eyebrows or in just on just anyone in general i remember when i was younger for final picture i will post it here i used to use mascara to fill in my eyebrows or i used to use like a black liner to fill my eyebrows and before i thought it was cute but it's not cute now that i look back i'm like it's not cute at all so we use this the other day i was listening to a podcast called the beauty of falling imperfection by sadie robertson sadie robertson on her podcast she was talking about how we should embrace um the things that make us different from others so in regards to my answers on instagram a lot of people told me um i don't like the fact that i have acne i don't like the fact that i am thicker than some of my friends i don't like the fact that i'm very impulsive and she was saying that we should take our flaws and turn it into something positive. And lately on social media, with all the girls and all the men, because this is not just a video for girls, but for men as well, um, we we tend to compare ourselves to others. Ooh, and something else that dropped in my spirit. Um, sometimes we can see people that um, that are at a certain level that we're not without knowing that they had to go through certain things in order to get to that level. You can even ask yourself, why am I going through this? Why is it that I look like this? Why is it that I act like this? But um, I think that it's really important that we have to tap into the u the uniqueness, sorry, of your why. It's okay, this is not how it's gonna look like in the end. I'm going to fix it in two minutes, okay? And even myself, um, I grew up as someone that was never, you know, that was never skinny. Of course, I do sports. It's not, I was never like a skinny girl, but I was always into sports and I was always into um, working out and eating well, but I was never skinny. Even while doing sports and even while um, eating well and doing my workouts, in my head I was still like, nah, like, I feel like I don't look good enough. You know, my stomach isn't flat enough and my legs aren't, you know, skinny enough and oh, double chin. With the mindset that I had on my body while doing workouts and while eating well, I always had to look to others for approval. I'm going to brush out my eyebrows, especially the front, so that um, it doesn't look um, too electric. I used to go to others for approval and the wrong people. A lot of us tend to go to the wrong people for approval without knowing whom we need approval from in the first place. The way you see yourself is very important that it can even create a reality that is contradictory contradictory to your true identity. Next people, we are going to conceal our eyebrows before I get to the next point. I use LA Girl in the color Fawn. And we lower our ambition to the worst level of our tendency. Psalm 139, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am someone that has really strong opinions about many different subjects. Of course, I'm never, like I'm not always right, no but I do like to share my opinions and when I share my opinions, I share them with authority. And sometimes people can take it as if I'm too harsh or I mean, or I know that a lot of people can relate to this. But you know what? Sometimes you forget that maybe that is the way that God made you. He made you powerful so that when it's your time to go out and share your own opinion, it will empower others. So even now you have to replace what man said about you 
with what God said over you. And I think even like you need to be careful with who you surround yourself with because those same people will belittle you even to the point where you will start to believe what they said about you. So now it's kind of blend. I'm gonna blend out my concealer and then we will carry on from there. From there. In reality, you are not what they said over you. We look for the approval of men in order to feel accepted. Now I'll be using like the darkest colors since also my shirt is dark, so I'm gonna keep that dark theme going. So these two first colors, I'll be putting those on my hands. If we rely on people's comments, we also miss out on God's promises. And even the power of life and death is in our tongue. Every morning we wake up and the first thing, the first thing that we see ourselves through is the mirror. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? You should be able to see yourself through God's mirror. What should you be seeing through God's mirror? Love, purpose, destiny, confidence, compassion. And because of how we forget about what we see in the word, we go back into the world and reflect what the world said over us, back to what's inside of us. And because of that, we start to believe what the world said over us. So I put the milk of magnesia as a primer because I have really oily skin. And so the only way for my makeup to stay dry and on my face the whole day is if I put milk of magnesia on my T-zone, on my forehead, on my nose, and on my, um, on my nose. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> on my chin <laughs> sometimes we see ourselves through someone else's insecurity the way people treat you isn't necessarily the way they feel about you but it's the way that they feel about themselves the way that they see themselves i forgot to mention the foundation that i use i use um maybelline in the color 360 mocha i will insert a picture right over here it's a very good foundation it's it does um full coverage matte finish I burnt myself um, while using the curling wand the other day. Um, I burnt myself, that's probably why you're wondering, but yes. So I use in the color Mocha 360 and I buy this at Walmart. I really love this foundation. So onto the next part, concealing under eyes, just to add some highlight as well. And even up to this point, some of us are looking into the mirror of our mistakes and we keep reflecting our future back to ourselves thinking that everything that we had planned, everything that God has planned for us, if he's given you, you know, a glimpse of what he wants to do for you. We keep reflecting our future back to ourselves thinking that we can't accomplish what God has called us to do because of our flaws, because of our imperfections, and because of what others has said, has, because of what others have said over us. But let me tell you one thing, sis, bro, sister, and brother. God does not see the way that you see yourself. And I encourage you to see yourself the way God does. Go back to the foundation, the word of God. His perspective on you is greater than the one you see over yourself. It is greater. And if you're having trouble, you know, seeing yourself the way God does, ask him to help you. Ask him to help you see yourself the way he sees you. What I'm realizing though, um, I think the most, um, the most thing that we struggle with in society is appearance and also character. I think it's more, more, more so appearance. I think I'm too fat. I think I'm too skinny. People won't accept me the way that I look like. Or it could even be your character. I'm too harsh. I'm too impulsive. I'm scared that, um, if I'm myself around people, they won't accept me the way that I am. But only the right people will accept you the way that you are. And you don't need to have a huge group of friends in order to know that you're accepted. Sometimes you, you're, sometimes it's okay to have one, two, three, four friends. You don't have to have 10. So right now we're doing the bronzer and bronzing my face. I'm using Fenty Beauty the bronzer stick in the color mocha. Okay, so in this moment I am baking my face. All my message is, first of all, we're finishing off with mascara, but um, my message is that you should embrace the things that make you different. Tap into the uniqueness of your why. Why is it that you're going through this? Is it because when I'm done going through these things, am I gonna go out and impact others? Are people going to be coming to me for, you know, strength and wisdom? 
and take all of your flaws and turn it into something beautiful. And so he has made you unique and therefore you need to use it. Use it, be yourself, figure out the why and tap into the uniqueness of it. Take your flaws and turn them into something beautiful. Very simple makeup look. <laughs> but this is what I do on a daily, you know, if I'm not going to like a special event. If I'm ever going to another special event, such as like a wedding or anything, I will definitely show you guys um, my extravaganzas. What I do that is, that is very extravaganza. But today it's just a neutral look and um, we're gonna work with what you have. I'm using products that are very affordable, you know, because a lot of us don't have the means, you know, to go to Sephora and buy a product. So I'm going to put a link in the down bar on every product that I'm using. All of these are from Walmart, except for Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty is from Sephora. Um, but um, all of these other products, it's either from Walmart or from NYX. NYX is also very affordable. So I will put this all in the down bar. And we're finishing off with a NYX lipstick in the color Fortune Cookie. note i'm going to leave you guys here thank you guys so much for watching this video i truly appreciate it i hope that this word really encouraged you today and i hope that this makeup tutorial as well helps somebody out there that does ha that has no clue on what products to use and what affordable pro affordable products to use for makeup like i said i'll put everything in the down bar and you guys can take a look sorry and throughout this video i'll also post some pictures as to what they look like so you can also have some reference when you go on your own timing to walmart to buy own products but on that note i'll see you guys in my next video bye